In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to monitor CPU and RAM usage for Linux and also monitor all processes and be able to do stuff, for example, kill a process directly with just one command line tool on the terminal named htop. So htop is not installed by default, but you have the command top. So if you run top, you can see here, well, you have a bunch of information, for example, the number of tasks here, CPU, uh, you can see RAM here, so the memory, and the different processes. But the interface is maybe not the best. I'm going to press on Q okay, to quit, Let's do clear. And instead of top, what I recommend you to use is htop, but htop is not installed. So you're going to do sudo apt install htop. Put your password, and that's going to download and install htop. It's not that big, so it should be quite quick. Okay, great, and now you can do h top. So you can see here, I'm going to go full screen. You can see here, that's, so that's a much nicer interface. You can see we have, so the number of CPUs, so I use two CPUs here for my Linux machine. So I have two CPUs and the usage, okay, in percentage. So that's very useful to see maybe if something is uh, slow, you can see the usage for each CPU. And then you can see also the memory usage. Okay, so in green, the memory usage, and you also have the cache in yellow. Okay, you can see the total, the swap memory, and then number of tasks, number of threads, uptime. Okay, so you have just a bunch of useful information here. And then on the bottom, what you can find, so you're not gonna have that interface first, you're gonna have that one maybe. And so what you can find is a list of all processes that are running and you can see the user here which is running the process and the PID also which is super important and then how much CPU and memory or RAM is used by each process okay so you can navigate using the arrows of your keyboard if you want to get the tree view which I had before you can just see here you have to press F5 and you're gonna get a tree view which is maybe better okay because it's going to regroup processes okay so you can see, for example, all those processes here, the three and that one are actually regrouped under this one. And so now let's say I open Firefox. Okay, so I open Firefox here. Okay, you can see that we have a spike in the CPU usage, which is going back to lower. But when we just start Firefox, it's going to use more CPU and also the RAM has increased. And so what if I want to find Firefox here? So I can just scroll and find Firefox or I can use the F3 shortcut and type Firefox. Okay, and you can see that now we have here Firefox program. Okay, you can see here we have the PID, user head and the, for example, the memory, you can see that we are actually using 5% of the RAM. Okay, so that's super useful information and the CPU usage as well. Now, if I want to kill that process, so you can see we have many different processes, but under one main process. If I want to kill that process, I can just use the F9 shortcut. And it's going to ask you, do you what kind of signal do you want to send? And usually the seek term by default is OK. So you just press Enter and Firefox is gone. As you can see here, Firefox is gone and we have less RAM usage here. So you can see htop is super useful. You can also sort by CPU usage or sort by memory usage, okay, to find the programs that take the most CPU or most RAM on your operating system. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also check out my online courses so you can learn Linux command line step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.